In this third example, we're going to look at the part C of this question. And it says the top 5% of marks will be awarded an A star. What's the boundary mark for an A star? So as ever, I've got the normal distribution curve here with 51 as the mean for this one. And I need to find the top 5%. So I'm going to make a line here and state that this is 5% of the data. Now, another way of thinking about that is that the rest of this, this red section, must be 95%, or in decimal, that's 0 0.95. This is 0 0.95 of the data. This little tail end here is 0 0.05 of the data. And I need to find about what X value, what cutoff mark is here. So we can still use most of what we know already. A Z score is found by doing the value we're looking at minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Uh, this one, I know that I'm trying to find X. My mean is 51 and my standard deviation is 3.5. I can find the Z score because I know that I want 0 0.95 to be below on the left hand side of the line. The table for this is table four, the percentage points looking like this. So again, the area is shown in the curve, in the shaded part here. I want 0 0.95, uh, I'll use the top part, 0 0.9, and then the second decimal place is five, 0 0.95. This value here, 1.6449. That's the Z value that I need. This means that if I go 1.6449 standard deviations above the mean, that will cover 95% of the data, so that value and less. Once we're there, it's just rearranging, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 3.5, 1.6449 times 3.5, and then I'll need to add on the 51, it will give me the X value that I want. So 1.6449 times 3.5, and add on 51, 56 point, I'll say 56.76. So if I want strictly the only people in the top 5%, um, I need to make sure I round up for this. So the, the cutoff mark is 57. If you get 57 marks or above, you would be in the top 5%.